Ratings Zero here, and welcome back to the Steel Montite run of EV Emeralds. Last time, we blundered into Latias by complete accident. And then we captured the Weather Trio. This time, we're going to complete the set of legendaries by catching the other golems, starting with Reg Ice. So here it is. Anyway, you go in here and you read this. It tells you to do laps of the room. You have to stick close to the wall. I don't know if you have to do it all in one go, or if you have to run, or if you can walk, but I forget, and also if it's in one direction or the other. I don't know if it really matters. Well, okay, that answers that question. So here's Reg Ice. Here goes nothing. Okay. Metal Claw will probably knock it out. Let's not take that chance. Alright, that'll work. We'll get in there eventually. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. I have a fuck ton of Ultra Balls. You're gonna run out of power points before I run out of balls. That's what she said. Wait, no. Come on. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is a problem. Because now you're out of power points. Alright, we gotta redo it. Round two, bitch! <clears throat> Called it! Round three! <clears throat> Alright, once more with feeling. We're gonna keep doing this until you get in the ball. I am nothing if not persistent. What I probably should have done was grab Magneton, then I could paralyze it. I think that does have a slight increase in the odds of capturing it. If I don't catch it this time, I'll go back and get Magneton. Oh wait, no, it's Magnemite that has Thunder Wave. Yeah, you're running out of power points. Alright, we're gonna go and get Magneton. Right, it's Magnemite that has Thunder Wave. Okay, so what is this? Take four, I think? Okay. All right. Perfect. Now go, go, go. Okay, that one was close. Go, go, go. Get in the ball, get in the ball. Not to mention, paralysis will delay how long it takes for it to hit you struggle. There we go! Hmm. I think I know what I'm gonna call you. Iced Earth! Good band. I recommend them. This time, we're gonna want you to open the door. And here's the Desert Ruins. <clears throat> so with this one, if I recall correctly, you use Strength right in the middle of the room. Or maybe you have to use it in a certain part of the room. Because I know in Ruby and Sapphire, Okay, so yeah, you don't want to use it right in the middle. It's somewhere else. Hmm, give me a second. Okay, so this says you want to go right two spaces, then down two spaces, and then use strength. 
No, that ain't right. Am I thinking of Ruby and Sapphire? Give me a second. Oh, right, no. It's left, left, down, down. And then use Rock Smash! Again, I don't see the point of using Braille in a video game. Something that, you know, blind people kind of have a hard time playing. Just a thought. I mean, nothing against blind nothing against blind people, I just think it's counterproductive. There's Regirock. Which I would say was the best rock type of Gen 3, but that isn't saying much. Most rock types were must be honest, they were pretty bad. Okay, uh redo! Take two! Yeah, note to self, uh, Red Rock is very low special defense. I probably can't afford to go much further. Okay, that was too risky. Trying again! Take three! All right, that's perfect. Now, time to spam Ultra Balls. Now, the one thing that is nice is that Red Rock has really high attack power, so moves like Super Power and Ancient Power are more useful. <clears throat> Whereas Red Ice is more of a special attacker, and a good one, actually. Hit, just stock up with Ice Beam and Thunderbolt, you've got a pretty good coverage bond. Whereas Registeel is kind of the odd one out, because the problem is generalists tend to be less effective than specialists in the meta. So one saving grace is gonna steel type, you can't poison it. Get in the ball. We're gonna keep doing this until you get in it. All right, redo. This is take four. Really? Oh, fuck you. Take five. God damn it. Attempt number six. All right, I dare not push it any further. Yeah, depending on how long this takes, I might end up doing something else, like maybe we'll check out the abandoned ship. If not, well... I think this is gonna take a while, because Regirock is being a massive bitch. I know, riveting game players watching me spam Ultra Balls at the damn thing. You know, I almost regret using the Master Ball on Latias. Get in the fucking ball already. Attempt number seven, I think. Come on. Why couldn't you be more like Kyogre and Rayquaza, where after, like, one attempt, they suddenly decide they wanted to cooperate? <clears throat> Why is Regirock the really stubborn one? If I have to do enough of these, I may end up actually cutting some of these attempts just to keep the video down to a reasonable length.
Complete mother of God. Finally! <sighs> now, let's see, what do I call you? Stonehenge, named after the monument or the song from This Is Final Tap. You decide. Okay, so I only had a bit over 10 minutes of content recorded for you guys. I gotta give you something a little more than that. We're gonna finish up exploring the abandoned ship. Now we have dive, we can do that. Go in here. Now, not all these you can enter. You need to get the corresponding key. This one you can enter. Now pay attention to those glimmering spots. That'll tell you there's an item there or just a piece of trash. Okay, that was the room one key. Here's a water stone. This is the only water stone in the overworld that I know of. You either need that or blue shards. Let's go back over here. Okay, so over here is one. It's trash. And there's the room four key, which will take you to the other side. And you get the TM for Rain Dance here. Here's room four. That's trash. That's trash. And there's the room six key. Why is that in the trash can? Now there's a catch with room six. Or rather, room five. You can't enter it directly, I think. Yeah, because the actual item you're looking for is in the next room. Well, as far as... I should wait. Hmm. I've probably already forgotten where some of them are, but whatever. You could also just systematically check every tile in the room. You're bound to find it eventually. Just through sheer persistence. And there's the room 2 key. This gets you the last item. And... Here is the scanner. Now, there's an NPC elsewhere on the ship that tells you the Captain Sturr's looking for this, so let's go to Slayport City. After all, as I said, I am the motherfucking mailman. And for your trouble, Talk to him here. And these items can evolve a clam pearl into Gorbis or Huntail. I think you can find them in. Actually, no. I thought you could find them being held by clam pearl. Whatever. Anyways, uh, yeah, let me see. Is there anything else I want to do for this episode? Well, actually, I guess there's not a whole lot more I could do except to prepare for the final battle. So, you like what you see? Like, comment, subscribe, check out my mobile page. Next up, the final battle. See you next time.